it would become one by five x times ten x minus fifteen y. So I know one by five x. First, it will multiply with ten uh, x, and then it will multiply with minus fifteen y. So one by five x when it multiplies with ten x, that's where you made a mistake. Ten by five or one by five x times ten x minus one by five x times fifteen y, right? So five ones are five, five twos are ten. So that would give me two x squared. Five ones are five, five threes are fifteen. So that gives me three x y, right? Is that what you got as your answer? I think there was a mistake. The first term it wasn't two x squared. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Then shall I move to the second one? I said the second one. It says a squared times a plus b plus c. So obviously this a squared will multiply with all three of them one by one. So when a squared it multiplies with a, it becomes a cubed. When it multiplies with b, it becomes a squared b. And when it multiplies with c, it becomes a squared c. Right? Okay, sir. You got the same answer. All right, Mr. G. For the third one, uh, we have got P Q times Q plus P Q times Q. Sorry, P Q times P. Hmm. Hmm. It would be. It would be. Did I write something different? Just a second. A cubed plus A squared B. Oh my bad. My bad. My bad. And it should have been a a cubed plus a squared b plus a squared c. I'm sorry. Take it, G. Now it matches with your answer. Okay. Um. Then the next one that we have is a uh, p q times p first. So if I multiply p q with p, that gives me p squared q. Right? You wrote this as p q p. So that would in fact be p squared q, right? Then when p q it multiplies with q, that would give me p q squared, right? And then and when p q eventually it multiplies with minus p q, the sign would be minus, and it would become p squared q squared. Same answer. Achoji, moving on. The next one that we have is um, a cube times a cube. So that would give me a to the power six. And when a cube it multiplies with a squared b, that would give me a to the power five b. Same answer. Okay. Mm, who's here? Arman is here. Achha ji, comparing the next answer, we have got three r. It will have to multiply with four r squared, so that will give me twelve r cubed, right? Then three r it multiplies with minus five s, so it will become minus fifteen r s, and then three r it multiplies with two t, so it will become plus six r. Same answer. All right. Acha ji. Then three a squared. First, it multiplies with two a, so that will give me six a cubed. And then three a squared. It multiplies with minus three b, so that will give me minus nine a squared b. Acha ji. M squared multiplies with m. So it gives me m cubed. M cubed. M squared multiplies with minus n. That gives me minus m squared n. And then m squared it multiplies with plus n m. So that will give me m cubed n. Right? Acha ji, for these questions, uh, the concept is that first we'll have to solve the bracket portion, 
and then the rest of the question. So if I expand the brackets first, I'll have 3a minus 4a minus 8. Since 2 is multiplying with minus 2 is multiplying with 2a as well as 4. So first I will solve the brackets. So it becomes 3a minus 4a minus 8. And then 3a minus 4a, it will become minus a and minus 8 stays as it is. So that's the answer. Chaneji, let's discuss the answers of all these questions one by one. So first, list, let's discuss part C. So part C, we have got 3 times P minus 4. So that will become 3P minus 12. And minus 4 outside the bracket, that stays the same. So this would make it 3P minus 16. And that's it. This would be the answer for part C. For part D, so first I'll have to multiply 7 with the values within the bracket. So 7 times 3m, that would give me 21m. Then 7 times minus 2n, that will give me minus 14n plus 8n. So this gives me um, 21m and minus 6n. Hmm. Minus 6n. Next for part E, it would be 6x uh, since it's outside the bracket and it's not multiplying with anything. 6x stays as it is. Minus 3 is multiplying with 2x. So it will become minus 6x. And then minus 3 is multiplying with minus 1. So that will make it plus 3. And then 6x plus and minus, they cancel each other. So the answer is just 3. Okay. And as for the last part, uh, 5p, it's not multiplying with anything. So 5p stays as it is. Uh, minus 3p, first it multiplies with p. So it becomes minus 3p squared. And then minus 3p, it multiplies with positive 2. So it becomes minus 6p. Okay, 5p minus 6p, that will make it minus p minus 3p squared. So usually we write the values in descending order. The final answer, it's better to write it in the descending order of powers. So the better way to write it is minus 3p squared minus p. So even if you leave the answer as it is in this form, your answer would be correct, but it's better presentation to write it this way. SRG, any question this far? Hopefully you have understood all these parts. So let's practice a few more. So little by little, these questions, they would be, they would become slight bit more tricky than before. But the rules that we are using, they would stay the same. So for example, the rule that we learned in the last question, we can't add numbers as long as there is something that they're multiplying with. So if they're multiplying with something within the brackets, first we solve the brackets. And once we have got all the values in the adding form, I mean, the terms, they are individually being added to each other. Only then we can start adding them. As long as some of them, they're multiplying with something, we'll have to do the multiplication first and then get to the addition part. So please go ahead and solve this one now. Did you both write down and check your answers, match your answers for the last question? Hopefully they matched for all of them. Okay, go ahead. Let's do it for this one now. G, shall we discuss the answers for first three first and then you can solve the remaining and then we can discuss the answers for all of them. Okay. Okay, G. For first three, let's see. Uh, for part A, what I'll have to do, I'll have to multiply 7m with m and then 7m with 4. So it becomes 7m squared plus 28m. And then outside the bracket, I've got m squared plus 2. So now I've got two terms with m squared, so I can add them 7m squared plus m squared. So that gives me 8m squared plus 28m plus 2. G. Any confusion or objection to this solution? 
you got the same answers all right acha ji for part b what we'll have to do uh so 3 it's multiplying with x and then minus 4 so when it multiplies with x it becomes 3x and when it multiplies with minus 4 it becomes minus 12 right and then plus 2 it multiplies with 4 and then with minus x so when it multiplies with 4 it becomes plus 8 and when it multiplies with minus x it becomes minus 2x so it would become 3x and minus 2x they would add or subtract so 3x minus 2x that gives me x uh minus 12 plus 8 it would give me minus 4 ji both of you got the same answer for these two parts where did you go wrong did i do it right 3 times x and then 3 times minus 4 so 3x minus 12 and then 2 times 4 would be positive 8 and minus 2x what did you do wrong Is Aisha? Your answer is the same. But you re realize what you have got, where you got wrong, right? Arman sir, you have identified your mistake as well. Okay, the first term. What did you get? Did you get three x? Fine, and then three x minus two x will be three x minus two x would be x, and minus twelve plus eight would be minus four. Acha, Miss Aisha, for the first part, uh, Arman sir, you too. Did you get the same answer, or uh, you made mistake in that one as well? Uh, question A, Part A, this one. You got it wrong, but now you realize where you got it wrong, right? So, but you multiply seven m with m, that gives seven m squared. Then you multiply seven m with four plus four, that will give you twenty eight m. And then outside terms, they aren't multiplying with anything, so they would stay as it is, plus m squared. And then seven m squared, it adds in this m squared. 28m. There isn't term with another m to add this into, and plus two as well. So these two stay as it is. Where did I write 4m? I wrote plus m squared. This is plus m squared. So you have seven m squared from these two, and there is an m squared outside. So seven m squared plus m squared. Arman sir, you have also understood part A. Acha ji, shall I explain part C now? Acha ji, look carefully for part C. Acha for these questions, I understand that uh, you people are due to these questions. So yes. uh my mistake that i went a bit quickly in the first few lessons i mean in the first lesson and this one as well my suggestion the take away or the thing that helped me when i was studying this topic and uh, i initially also found it difficult do not skip steps do not skip steps like i've done it mentally so i Uh, write down steps write down every step on notebook and then gradually move forward it's when you try to do skip a step and try to do it mentally that's where most of the mistakes happen acha ji again the rule is simple if there is a term outside the bracket and then there is a bracket first i'll multiply the value outside the bracket with the values within the bracket so 6 times p is how much ji 6 times p is how much 6p And then six multiplies with positive three, so that gives me positive eighteen. Then I have got minus four multiplying with positive p, so that will give me minus four p. And then minus four multiplying with minus one, so that will give me positive four. 
okay now i'll add the like terms as in the term with uh, same variables accompanying them so 6p minus 4p that will give me 2p and 18 plus 4 that would give me 22 all right Change. I'll pause over here and let you finish with D, E and F. Let me know when you have attempted those. Then we'll discuss the answers for those as well. All right, sir. So, so for part D, it says 5 times M minus 8. So 5 times M, it would give me 5M. And then 5 times minus 8, it would give me minus 40. Then minus 4 times m will give me minus 4m. And minus 4 times minus 7, it will give me positive 28. Okay. And then we'll see the numbers with the same variables. So 5m minus 4m, that would give me just m. And minus 40 plus 28. Sorry, this is minus 40 or minus yes minus 40 plus 28 so that would give me minus 12. gee you got the same answer both of you yes. gee miss aisha is it any different it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so it's the second bracket that always confuses you Achha, gee. Let's see for part E. Uh, part E, what would happen? 3a, first it will multiply with a. So that would give me 3a squared. And then this 3a, it will multiply with positive 2. So that would give me 6a. Asaji, then minus 2, it will multiply with a squared. So that would give me minus 2a squared. And then minus 2, it multiplies with minus 1. So that gives me positive 2 okay and now i'll add the uh, terms with the same variable so 3a squared and minus 2a squared uh, that would give me just a squared 6a 6a it would stay as it is and then positive 2 it also stays as it is g any confusion in this one Arman sir? Achraji, Let's do part F now. So 7a, it multiplies with b. So that gives me 7ab. And then 7a, it multiplies with minus 2c. So minus 14ac. Okay. And then minus C, it multiplies with 2A. So that will give me minus 2AC. And then minus C, it multiplies with minus 3. So that will give me positive 3C. And now let's see if there are terms AB. There is just one. So 7AB stays as it is 7AB. AC, there are two terms with AC. So minus 14 AC minus 2 AC that gives me minus 16 AC and then plus 3 C that also stays as it is. Yes, sir and madam. Any confusion? Sixteen AC sixteen AC should be minus three C should be three C should be positive because minus C it multiplies with minus three. So negative negative multiplication that gives me positive answer, right? If the terms they are like um, in uh, like in a different order, like uh, plus three C minus sixteen AC, that wouldn't make much difference. As long as their signs and values are correct. I said this is for the lesson today. Uh, there is a slight bit of this exercise left, but I'd rather do that in the next class with you. Um, 
ठीक है देर इज जस्ट वन पोर्शन ऑफ दिस विच यू माइट फाइंड अब इट डिफिकल्ट सो वील डू दैट इन द फर्स्ट क्लास दैट वुड एटलीस्ट गिव अस कवरेज ऑफ सम पोर्शन ऑफ मैथ देन आफ्टरवर्ड्स वील स्विच टू नंबर्स वील फिनिश द टॉपिक ऑफ नंबर्स Uh, as quickly as you can grasp and then we'll inshallah switch back to the topic of algebra any questions from the lesson uh yes the target is to finish the whole syllabus at least a month before may so uh, max max by the end of march so that gives you the whole month of april for revision